in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys wedding guest dresses. I feel like you guys have been requesting this for a while and I apologize for it being late. I feel like starting mid-year, I should have done this video earlier, but I know there's probably a ton of weddings commencing and going on till later on in the year. So hopefully I'm not too late, even though I feel like I'm kind of late. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Let's get started. I kind of broke it down into about three different retailers that I think are really good for finding wedding dresses. The price point is more on the lower side, but like some a little bit higher, like in the over $100, $200 range. Um, and then there's different occasion dresses for different types of weddings. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right to it. Okay, so the first dress, I hope they still have it in stock. So it is a little jacquard to dress. It is short. So this is something that I would wear to like a destination wedding if it's not black tie. Some weddings you know are gonna be casual. Some you know are gonna be black tie. Um, this is more for a wedding where they didn't really set much of a tone. It's kind of like a free for all, wear whatever you want. You know the person they're gonna like if you wore this to their wedding kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I would definitely wear this one. Forgot to even mention where the first few dresses are going to be from. So this is from Lulu's. I have about three or four dresses from them. So I'm going to categorize them by store. I'm not categorizing the dresses by like type of wedding, if you get what I'm trying to say. So the first batch is from Lulu's. So this is just like a tube, just like I mentioned. It has a little slit right here. And then this is just what the back looks like. It's really gorgeous on if it's true size. I just pretty much styled it with some door knocker earrings and some simple like shiny metallic shoes these ones are from YSL I've had these for a while I kind of like going glam and a little more like shiny metallic with the shoe just because it is a wedding so this is dress number one okay so the next dress is from Lulu's as well actually okay so it's not a dress it's actually a two-piece so it is a top as you can see here like a crop top with these ties you tie it on the shoulder and then it comes with this pencil skirt so it does get the illusion of a dress which is why i still went for it even though it's actually a two-piece um so i feel like this might have been meant for a little bit of a warm you know like taller person just because the skirt i think it kind of hits me weird but i feel like i can still get away with it so i'm only 5'1 for a reference got a size extra small in this one and in the first one so this is kind of like a similar dress to the first one or outfit to the first one it's like that jacquard type of material, almost like brocade, I guess. Um, but this one's a little more fancy just because it is longer. And then I want to show you guys up close because this is a beautiful dress. It pretty much shimmers and the quality is really, really nice. I love the little strap detail. It's also really nice that it has pockets. So this one, again, something more formal. But I also just feel like it doesn't really matter if the wedding is not that formal. Um, I feel like people or the people that are are getting married would be really happy if their wedding was casual and you came dressed up you know what I mean because it meant that you took the time to really look your best and your nicest to go to see them get married so this is just nice for pretty much any wedding I think um, I definitely would wear this to a destination wedding on the beach I would not wear this for black tie I think it needs to be a little more fancy and the first two dresses are print so I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna wonder about wearing print to a wedding. I think a lot of people are used to wearing solids, but I'm all for a print. It's like 2021, it's kind of just like whatever, you know what I mean? And it's just so, so, so beautiful. The back also has a little slit, so it's easy to walk in. Oh, and really quickly, I forgot to mention, if any of these items end up being sold out by the time this video goes live. This is just to give you a general idea. I'm hoping they don't sell out, but if it's something you really want um, and it's not available anymore, then we are going to link alternatives um, that look similar, but maybe not from exactly Lulu's um, in hopes that you can find something similar. All right, so this next dress is gorgeous. The fit is so amazing and it feels really nice. It's super comfortable. 
it's still like stretchy a little bit even though it looks like it's not um, and it's just super flattering it kind of gives like the hourglass effect because the bottom of the skirt slightly fans out again it's from Lulu's size extra small um, so this one I think you could wear black tie um, so I would just go all out with like your jewelry and your clutch and your hair and your makeup if you're gonna do something like this I think black tie could still be a little bit more glam but definitely this one so it also is just a really good excuse for you to dress up we haven't dressed up like this in so long because of COVID so just like go out with it and have fun you know what I mean so here we have this really pretty like burgundy I don't know maybe that's not the right color <laughs> description but like almost like a wine color and it has kind of like a plunging neckline but not too low you could still wear a bra which I feel like you can kind of see mine I like that the straps are a little bit on the thicker side and then this is what the back looks like so you might need to get it hemmed if you are about my height otherwise if you're taller this should be perfect all right so that was it for the Lulu's portion of this video so the next couple dresses are from a place called Shopo so Lulu's is kind of middle of the road price point for wedding guest dresses this is more affordable price point I think everything that I'm about to show you guys is under a hundred dollars um, so the first dress right here it's almost similar to the color of the one beforehand except it's a little more bright more on the fuchsia side instead of more like on the wine family so here we have a short length long sleeve dress and yes it does have an opening in the middle which i'm going to preface it as wearing something like this depends on like who your friend is right or like you know whose wedding you're going to is so if it's a person that would be like oh yes girl like that i love then wear it to that person's wedding otherwise this again is just kind of like an idea to give you i loved the kind of like shape and color of this dress kind of wish they didn't have the opening because if they didn't it would just be cute so yeah love the details on this dress it's ruching it's puff sleeve kind of has that little opening um, and that's basically it so this one I would wear to an outdoor wedding um, kind of like a garden wedding it's kind of like middle of the road the person's not really like having a fancy wedding but also not casual it's kind of in between so again this first one is from Shopo okay so this next dress is for a casual wedding so something like in someone's backyard um, a garden wedding that you know is gonna be casual so I like this because it's long sleeves it's also midi length but it's not so boring because it has these cutouts right here and then this is what the back looks like another thing is that the yes the base of this dress is white but at the same time that's not what people see or notice right from the get-go just because there is so much floral going on in like pink and green and like a mustard yellow it's really really pretty now i'm not really like styling these dresses just because i don't really have all the things that i would want if i were actually going to wear these to a wedding but i think this dress would be really cute with like some earrings like this and also like a lace-up heel maybe in like a brown i think that would be super super fun and then just like a nice cute little clutch and so this one again is from Shopo. Okay, so this next dress, I love this one so much. I love how it's like a sparkly brown material um, and it has like gold flecks all over. Um, so this one is very comfortable. I love how it has like a square neckline, goes straight across and then it has the straps right here which are adjustable. Um, so this one again is from Shopo. I love, you guys know I love a good slit. Um, and this one is a pretty high slit right here, but nothing where I'm like too concerned that it's going to show anything. Nothing like that at all. I think it just gives this dress that like wow glam factor. Um, and the great thing about this is like the price. So this is something like I feel like you could get away with wearing um, to black tie. You just again got to go all out with like your jewelry, your hair, your clutch and things like that. A good shoe, um, especially since you are showing your leg. You've got to have a good shoe. So I forgot. Forgot to mention sizing when it comes to Shopo, they are like an Australian based um, website which be mindful if you need to return anything it might cost a pretty penny com coming from the US um, but I'm not quite sure so check the returns policy um, so I'm usually a size 2 in Australian sizing which I think equates to a size 6 I don't know but basically I think their small size is usually a 2 but I think Shopo goes by extra small 
So I'm gonna go with that. But yes, this is such a great option if you want to stick to like neutral beige tones. Love this. So I'm just gonna show you guys up close what it looks like. So pretty. All right, you guys, how about this one? This one is so fun. I just had to get it to show you guys. So you could wear this to somewhere where you know like the occasion, or not the occasion, but the wedding is at like a nice resort or hotel, but they didn't really like specify. Definitely great for daytime because of the color or like, you know, middle of the day into like that magic golden hour. Um, but then again, you be the judge depends on what kind of friend or person, you know, is that's having a wedding. Um, but this is just such like a showstopper. I feel like people are going to be like, oh my God, I love your dress. So it is short on the inside and then it has that little crocheted cover on the outside and I love this dress so much. And that's what the back looks like, just like that. It has a zipper down here. So for me, I was able to snatch up a size zero and I'm really surprised that it fits me really nicely. Um, even the length is not too crazy um, because I also do have like platform shoes that are high in the front, not flat in the front like the one I'm wearing, which could give me height, which would make the length perfect on this because it is a little bit long and because it is crocheted, you can't really like hem the bottom of this dress, if you know what I mean? Oh, and I forgot to mention, this next batch of dresses is from ASOS. I feel like it was around the $200 price range. So we're going a little bit higher up. Um, I saved the ASOS items for last just because they were the more expensive dresses of the bunch in this video. So close up, this is what it looks like. Super gorgeous, plunging again, um, no need to wear a bra, but you could do like the little pasties. All right, this next dress is more for like a casual wedding, garden wedding. It just kind of screams like garden, daytime, that type of vibe. Um, so this one again is from ASOS. Love this beautiful brown color. Um, they have different variations and colors and I think even prints of this dresses. So I will link all the ones from there that I find. Um, but I love this one just because it's so unique. It's so ethereal, it looks really expensive. If you look here, it has a bunch of ruffle detail. It has like this little embroidery detail right here. The sleeve is just so pretty and it has these buttons and then it scrunches right here. And then again, it has this like opening part right here. But again, it's just such a pretty dress that I don't think people would mind. It has like a little tie, you do have to be careful. I am not that well endowed, so for sure, like wear pasties. Um, but it has that little embroider crochet detail down the center. It really, really snatches you right here. Um, and then the back of the skirt has a zipper and then it's just a keyhole right up here with two buttons right at the neck. And then for the skirt, I just love how like flouncy it is. It's like a ruffle skirt. It has those same like embroidery details. And then they just added extra material again for like extra flounce. I love this one so much. All right, so this next dress I love so much. I love when dresses have a lot of draping going on. Just the style, the vibe, the color, the material of this dress is more for like a wedding on the fancier side. So this one again is from ASOS. I got a size zero. It is, I feel like, a little bit loose on me. So um, I just kind of like tapered it in the back with a pin so that I could just show you guys what it's supposed to look like because I felt like it kind of just sat on me but if maybe you're like a size two I would maybe size down another thing is you shouldn't wear this dress with a bra the way I'm wearing it because you do have to clip the straps and it does have a zipper so it's meant to be um, like a backless type of dress the other thing that I don't like about it is that the straps are not adjustable so it's another reason why I clipped it because it was a little too long on the straps for me so I wouldn't have much coverage but if you're taller that shouldn't be a problem let me show you up close the draping is so 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 pretty as you can see here crisscrosses the color is gorgeous i didn't end up changing anything about my accessories um but i like that it's like gold accessories with this gunmetal type of color dress um just because i feel like it breaks up the color so I mean, you could wear still like a silver shoe, but I feel like it makes it a little bit bland, so the gold kind of like livens it up. 
So love this number. All right, so this next dress, I love this one so much. I think it might be my favorite from the ASOS bunch. Not sure yet, because we're not done. But we have a one shoulder right here, which I love a one shoulder for a wedding, just because it's very different um, and it's unique and it's interesting. This one I specifically love because I love how the one shoulder strap is very thin. It's kind of like a spaghetti strap. I love that they did this kind of draping on the side it makes it really really like special and interesting so it kind of shows on the side right here just kind of sticks out it's actually meant to drape like that um, and then I love the slit I love the length of this dress I love that it's not long it's more of like a midi length and I was bummed about it being navy blue. I'm not like a navy blue person. They did have a bunch of other colors, so I'll be sure to link all the other colors. I was trying to get the other colors, but they're all sold out of my size. But still, even though it's navy blue, it's so, 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 so pretty. So again, a little more on the fancy side, um, so definitely would wear it to a fancier wedding. But again, you could also still wear this to a wedding that's not as fancy. I think any um, person would just be happy, again, that you dressed up to their wedding. Oh, and then sizing for this one, I got a size zero. All right, so this next dress is a little more on the sophisticated side. So if you're looking for more like that route, that vibe, um, then this is a really pretty dress. Um, it is black. I think it's okay to wear black to a wedding, but I feel like if you have other choices in color, probably go for that instead. But like if it's a dress you're like super stuck on and it happens to be black, I think it's okay. As long as it looks really, really pretty, you can get away with it. So this is definitely a dress that you'd wear to like a really nice hotel wedding. Um, this is by ASOS Design. I love how, again, it like drapes right here and it's very unique and different because it has like a short sleeve, but it's still like a one sleeve or like off the shoulder dress with another hanging sleeve right here. So super unique. And I love that it kind of is just such an hourglass like shape. It has a slit in the back, so it does allow you to walk really easily. It does have a side zipper to get in and out of it really easily. It's very like a put together type of dress, um, but it is a really nice material. So it's like a crepey material. So you're able to just really move with it and be comfortable with it all night. You can dance in it and it's not gonna move. So again, from ASOS, size zero. All right, you guys, so I said that the blue dress was probably my favorite, but I don't know. You guys let me know which one you like because I love this one. Um, so this is from the brand Lavish Alice on ASOS. Um, and I love that it kind of gives the illusion of like a two, kind of like two dresses in one. So from the side, it looks like a short dress. And then from the other side, it looks like a longer mini dress. Um, but I love the combination and I love the one shoulder. So it has like a sweetheart neckline with draping over the shoulder, ruching right here. This is what the back looks like. So there is a zipper on the back. This color is like a champagne gold color. Really, really pretty. Um, for this one, I got a size two, which I was pretty shocked putting it on. I thought it was gonna be big because I did not get a size zero, which is my normal size, but they didn't have it, I don't think. So I just wasn't sure that it was gonna be big, but it fits me literally like a glove. Um, so definitely go your true size if picking this brand out. And again, I would use it to like a more dressy type of wedding at like a nice hotel or just, you know, you'll know the vibes. So these were all dresses from ASOS again. Be sure to check out the description box because everything that I show you guys will be linked down there. And again, I do apologize. I don't control how much people buy. So things are sold out by now. I will definitely put um, different alternatives. So make sure you click every link we put on there because you never know what dress you might be clicking on. You might even like the alternative even better. Um, so yeah, be sure to check the description box and I would love to know which one was your favorite dress. So let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here and you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.